few years back, emission requirements changed for farm equipment. This morning, Machinery Pete joins us with a look at the impact on auction prices for machines that were built before the new standards. Well, folks, one of the trends I'm continuing to see out there is pre-emission tractors in very good condition with low hours. The buyer demand for them is just through the roof. Now, a recent example from an August 27th farm auction in Southwest Ohio, this 2002 John Deere 7810 it had 1,623 hours on it, it sold for 90,000 bucks. Now that's a super high auction sale price, but fact is I've seen six of them sold higher at auction the last five years. Now this John Deere 7810 for 90,000 bucks, I posted a picture of it to our Machinery Pete Facebook page, and in a couple hours we had over 30 comments from people all over the world. And a lot of the comments were about the engine and the pre-emission. We even had one guy on there comment that said, Pete, I think these pre-emission tractors the next three, five, ten years are going to be even more valuable. And this is a trend we see across all color lines. It doesn't matter if it's John Deere, Case IH, Agco, New Holland. If they're nice and low hours and that 10 to 15 years old, the demand is there. Now the 7810, actually the last six months, has been one of the most searched models on machinerypeat.com. So again, shows you the buyer interest. Now, today on MachineryBeat.com, we've got 73 7810s listed for sale, nine of them under 4,000 hours. And the asking price on each of them is under 90,000 bucks. So check them out and tell those dealers you saw them on MachineryPeat. 